Hey guys, and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Today is episode 70, and we gotta kick this series into overdrive for the next few episodes because episode 75, I'm saying it now, that is a world download. No matter how much stuff we get done, we are doing a world download, world tour, etc. at episode 70. You guys have been asking for it for quite a while now. And yeah, so we gotta get that in here. And today is gonna be the first episode where we do that commenter question of the day that I mentioned a while ago. So be sure to tune in for that. That'll be at the end of the episode as we kind of close things off. But anyways, today, what I wanna be working on is this little section right up here. As you guys can see, this stuff is all still scaffolding and not built up at all. And it's looking a little uh, not quite as good as the front of the castle. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. So my goal for today, is this courtyard area right in here that we are kind of looking at right now where all the dirt is and all that stuff we're finishing that that is what we're finishing today we're finishing the front face of this guy right here we're probably those towers will be next episode we'll detail out that guy get a window in there get our door in there so we actually know how to get into that building because currently there's no entrance to it besides across the bridge over there um, I'm debating on whether or not we're gonna put another little gate right into that guy but that's the plan for today and we're gonna sleep the night away. Let me go ahead and get some decent stuff down, kind of, because I'm not really sure about what I want to be doing for it. Um, I I know what I like. I have a few ideas. Like I want this guy, whereas this guy over here, our feast hall, we had that like second layer right there. I want to do that, except a lot more extreme and raise the roof up quite a bit more. Um, and just get a lot more detail into this area up here. I'm really thinking about like right here taking a line straight across this guy and having it basically being a staircase that'll lead you up into like the royal palacey courtyardy type thing. So like right here probably will be that. And then this is where the flooring probably will have the floor right here on this level of the cathedral or not the cathedral. Sorry, this guy. That's where that stuff is all going to be. And I want to get a chapel in here. I think that's going to actually be down in that area. We're going to poke that out a little bit more, make it a little bit more angular instead of per being so rounded. And we'll throw a chapel in there. Our catapult is looking freaking awesome from last episode right over there. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and get some stuff done and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Guys, I have fought with this dang thing for over an hour now. And I think I finally have something that is at least like usable for now if that makes sense i think that's actually no we gotta raise these up one god okay anyways so i'm trying to do here and it's not working too well since this guy's right in the way so i'm thinking about maybe bringing this out in like making it a little bit more rounded on the corner maybe for there at least i don't know but the doorway is going to be back in here like or it was meant to be there it's probably going to be here now and I just, I have no freaking idea. Let's actually keep this, let's keep this bit right there. So that's fine. Um, let me go ahead and fill this stuff in. I hear zombies in the background and that's lovely. All this stuff is going so well, but let me sleep, I'll be right back. Nope, we can't sleep there. Okay, so <laughs> the plan right now is kind of to bring this main section out here, then allow for, and then do some ramparts going across and allow for some balconies and have a smaller roof in the middle so it kind of steps up and here let's let's see if we can do this so it's going to kind of come up like that and then we're going to have it go in there's going to be like a balcony area right here then it's going to come up again and then we'll probably have a second row where there's going to be like a flat area at top and then right up on that level is where we're going to start the roof so we're going to have a little flat section for like an outside courtyard roof area another one right up there and then the roof is going to go directly up behind that and that's going to kind of come down and do the same on the other side if that if my amazing little plan right here makes any sense to you guys that's the plan right now so i'm gonna see what i can't get done on this it's being a it's being a pain it's uh, i think i might have bitten off a little bit more than i can chew for this episode but we're gonna see how much we can get done so i'll be back with you guys once i got something figured out all right guys time for this next little update we got going on here i wanted to show you guys off to this show off this little balcony that i built up we got a nice brick wall here in the back for that cool little red color then we got some cool hoppers and little fences and things to make this look a lot more unique this place doesn't have the best viewing angle seeing as this is going to be the top of that tower so you kind of be looking out into that but i think that's okay we're going to have a little window right here looking down onto the courtyard then over here we got this same basically extended section right there i do have one slight problem with it though from down here 
it's still looking very, very stony. Stone, stone, stone. And I want to fix that, but I'm not quite sure how yet. So I, I'm thinking about changing the face of that guy to like white concrete or something just to get that stone out of there at least. Make it more interesting. I've been putting these guys in here, just the anvils to get that other darker color in there. And I'm just slowly mixing it up. I'm thinking as we go farther up, it'll be better. I've decided that right here, we're going to do a nice little seven by seven tower with a cool wooden top to it. Similar to the ones that we built way, way back over in White Glen for that big wall that'll be for the city in the future. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. I just want to bring you guys in for an update. I'm going to go probably spend another few hours getting a lot of stuff done. And I will check back in with you guys once we get there. But like this right here, we got to bring the floor up two blocks. So just got to keep that in mind as we go. I'm going to try and get the road in out here as well. And this area is just looking really gray because we haven't added any foliage or things like that into here yet. So that's kind of why it's bugging me, I feel like. But we'll get there. We're getting there pretty quickly. So we'll see what happens, guys. And I'll be back with you once I have another update for you guys. All right, guys, I've done it. I've realized the block I hate making the most in Minecraft. Brick. Brick is literally the worst thing ever to have to make. I hate it so much. It's so awful. But anyways, we got this nice tower up here. It looks pretty cool. Uh, we got this cool little stone uh, face going on back here. You can see some brick right up there. It's looking pretty solid. We can't see a whole lot from down here, sadly, because it's so steep. I want to be able to see it kind of from the entrance to the castle. I went ahead and copied the stained glass thing we have on the other side over to this side. And I want to put some like flower pots in here and things like that and make it look a little bit more green and lush and cool and kind of help take away from how big it is. And of course, it's raining now. That's awesome. But yeah, let's go ahead and go inside. And wow, our interior is looking awesome. No, I made this little like fake staircase to get up here just kind of where I'm going to be building up a stone wall. So I just want to show this off to you guys. We don't have a way to get up to the next floor, but both floors are basically the same. Right here, we kind of have this brick wall coming up and then it goes up to like there's a little room in here. And then there's this guy and we have ways to get inside from here. Let's see, do I have rockets? I do have rockets. We can go ahead and do this. If only I had a trident right now, I could fly through the sky in the rain. But yeah, there's the tower. I think it's looking pretty cool. We got the base, oh, oh, okay, I guess we're down. We got the base shape for what the roof is gonna be looking like from this side. We got these cool little overhang bits right here with some more uh, brick behind and then a stone brick like outside to it. And I really like it, how it's looking right now. I think it's looking pretty cool. I'm not sure where I want to take the roof next besides kind of just going up. I'm debating on putting windows and things in here. That'd be a third layer, so I think it would help even it out and it would be kind of set back a little bit more. That kind of hurt. Um, so I think it might be a good idea to do like a third layer right in there just to help bring it back a little bit more and add some height, more height to it. But if we take a look at it from way out here, it really is starting to come together in my opinion. So you can see kind of it's popping up over the back and I think it's pretty cool. So let's, from like right here, I think this is a great viewing spot for what we got going on, minus all the rain going on. But yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. I just want to bring you guys in for that. I got a bunch more work to be doing. I think the tower is good right there. I almost wish it was like another two blocks taller, but then this level right there evens out perfectly with the floor there. So I kind of like that fact of it also. So yeah, let me get some more work done. I don't know quite how high this roof is going to be going, but I'll get as much work done as I can today. I might, I might um, go ahead and just kind of briefly plan out what the back is going to be looking like over here because as you can see, it still has the old design to it. So we'll see what happens and let me get some more work done and I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So I've been doing a lot of work because I haven't really had a chance to record. So we got a lot of stuff that we can check up on here as we're kind of walking through. As you can see, we added another gate right here. So that comes down. This one's a bit thicker than the last one. I just wanted to mix it up from what we were doing at this guy. But that comes down to the main gate down here. We got this little gate right here. Then all of the big like the feast hall is like that big great door there which is looking pretty cool and i start putting in some doorways where like this could be like an entrance into the kitchen and things like that then we got this big gate right up here that's kind of for like coming into the courtyard area also i guess we got in the we got in the road here too so i should probably point that out but beyond that i will get to this guy here in just a second i went ahead and started planning out where some floors would be so we can have like a floor here and then there's one down here then this guy can all come up over in this area then it comes back down here and then we'll probably put a little bit of a staircase going down that way. Let me go ahead and throw a torch right here just real quick before I forget. And yeah, so that's kind of 
what's going on in here just kind of prepping for some interiors coming in the future we'll get a lot of these guys featured up here pretty soon on the channel those will be really fun to do but yeah so back over focusing on the palace texture variation is all in on this side for the most part it's looking pretty cool in my opinion i gotta say i really really like it for what we have so far the tower it i kind of wish it was a little bit taller but i think it's fine for what it's gonna do it was mostly just meant to break up that corner right there and yeah inside so you guys can see i've done quite a bit of work in here kind of planned out where a pathway is going to go to get into this whole throne room area this is going to be the shape of the throne room so you're going to come in here be like a wall on there a wall on there there will be like a big raised up throne there we might make this go longer and actually have like this come straight over there and then straight down if that makes sense so instead of coming in over and then there having just the barely coming in then going straight over that way and then straight down here that can be kind of cool but then that guy's off center so it's a little weird but yeah so we're gonna have a big grand window right there two smaller windows on those guys and i'm hoping it'll be pretty cool so beyond that though i'm trying to think of everything else that i have still yet to show you guys i think we looked at this stuff all before but if we haven't it's been a few hours since the last clip, so I'm just trying to catch you guys up. Got doors and everything in here. Over here, I went ahead and started working on the back side. Over here, we have that. It's just basically a clone of what is on the front side. So we got this nice little black or back brick work in there, giving it some extra depth. I think that is pretty cool, so we can get some extra stuff going there. I know this episode is a lot more of just kind of show and tell type stuff instead of actually building together, but we're going to get into the comment or question of the day here in just a second, and then we'll finish up this roof, I'm hoping. But yeah, so up here, this is kind of how it works. We now have a door going into this guy. Here's two floors. We got to break this open, and we can go ahead and get like some way to get up there and have access to that floor as well. But we got some cool little views out of this guy. And I got to say, this is really starting to come together. So let's see if we can't get up onto this and up here and yeah so this is the slope of what the the whole palace thing is going to be we're going to try and get this roof on here to start today i'm debating with the idea of bringing in some extra like windows right there like one right there and then one right in that area i think it could be kind of cool i think it might add an extra bit of detail so maybe we can get those in here real quick but so that could be kind of fun actually yeah i think we are going to do that let me go ahead and get these like base shapes from in here and grab some cobblestone and i'll be back with you guys and then after that we can go ahead and get into the comment or question of the day so i'll be back in just a few all right so for these little windows i'm just doing like a really simple little stone brick line right there then bring it up one we do a polished andesite polished andesite then bring it up one more and then we go ahead and do just polished andesite right there to top it off and i think it gives a cool little frame and i've been using the white stained glass because i think it looks pretty cool so anyways, on that, we can go ahead and bring the red concrete out right here and just kind of make these cool little borders kind of like that. We'll come back in later on and detail out the rest of it. Like put, we'll probably around these guys put like a dark oak border just to make it look a little bit more interesting, add some extra depth to it. But over here, we got this one built up too. And I think it gives a cool little look to it. So we can go ahead and do that. And then we can come back here and take a look at these guys. I think that's really starting to bring this whole atmosphere and all this whole build is really, really starting to come together. I love a lot of the brick that we're doing in here. I think it's really cool. I honestly, I want to darken up the brick a little bit, like the, those grout lines, just make them a tad bit darker, but I just haven't really gotten around to it. I'm kind of waiting to see what Jappa does with them. But anyways, it's time that we go ahead and get into the commenter question of the day, and we're just going to talk about some stuff as we go ahead and kind of build back up this roof here. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It's the first time I've done it, so bear with me here as we're getting into it. But we have our comment or question of the day for episode 70 going on January 16th, I believe. And this one is from I'm Dark Diamond, and he says, for question of the day, how would a YouTuber like myself manage making YouTube videos and still have time for personal life? Personal life? I've got a new PC and I'm trying to put out lots of content, but I want advice on how to manage from my favorite YouTuber. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, keep up the good work from I'm Dark Diamond. So as we work on building this guy up here, I got a few things I just kind of wanted to offer as just like general words of advice. Not that I'm like the best person with time management, but I think just anything can really help. Just different perspective and that type of stuff. So I guess for starters, I got a list pulled up on the side here. One sec. All right. So for starters, um, I guess the first thing is that th what you said in there, Dark Diamond, is... The first like red flag I saw was putting out lots of content. Like I get that you really want to get a lot of content out there because that's what like brings in the subs and all that stuff makes it a lot more interesting. But I would say really stress at not getting upset with yourself if you miss a deadline, because if you think about it, like, yeah, you're making content and you want it to be consistent. So the viewers like know when to expect it. But like 
it's not your job currently and it's more of a hobby so you kind of have to do it when you have the time so i'd really stress just kind of making sure that you're not upset with yourself when you want to go ahead and you're like oh man i would have to get this video out tomorrow and then you're like eh, it's too late i can't do it and then you kind of get mad at yourself like i've been in that position many many a times and all i can say really is just go ahead and keep working and get the video out when you can if it's a few hours late that's whatever it doesn't really hurt your channel too much to miss a deadline by a little while. Like, look at the big YouTubers. They do it every once in a while as well, and it's their full-time job, and they still miss deadlines. Beyond that, I would say, like, as much as I said don't worry about deadlines, I would say make a schedule that you know you can do. For me, my current work schedule is I work four nights a week, so and I'm working nights, so it makes things extra interesting. We'll get more into that later, but it kind of allows for me to do some creative things that have been really working out well for me so far. But... Yeah, so like I I have a lot of time during the week when my friends are like asleep or they're at work or things like that. So I use that time to prioritize and that's why I'm able to get the four videos done because I, I'm kind of home at alone for a while and like girlfriends at work and all that stuff. And I'm kind of able to just kind of do my own thing instead of worrying about who's around me. So I'd say really try and make a video schedule or make a schedule that you know you can commit to and you know you can keep up with and don't kill yourself if you have to only do like one video a week that's a great way to start it's a great way to learn and it's a great way to figure out if you even want to do this as a hobby like if you're doing four or five videos a week and you're just trying to figure out if you want to be a youtuber that's going to be like it's going to really burn you out because you're like oh man i have to do a video every single day like as much as you want to do content like pacing yourself is a really really big thing and making sure you have a consistent flow of content out there not just a bunch of videos at once and you get burnt out then you record a bunch of videos at once and then you get burnt out then you record a bunch of videos again and then you get burnt out and it's just this ultimate cycle that is eventually going to lead to you probably quitting so to get to a few more points and get these going more quickly is uh for me my channel is like a huge passion project of mine this is probably my favorite hobby i have right now and i really see i'm seeing a lot of growth in it so i'm really putting a lot of effort into it and first off like the amount of effort you put in determines kind of the amount of growth you're going to get out of it because that's that's kind of how the channel works it's like you have to put in a lot of time creating quality content creating quality episodes making sure you have something interesting making sure you pronounce things correctly and carry your voice well have a good mic have good audio quality so people actually want to sit there and listen to you and all that stuff and it gets a little complicated but there's a lot to it but more or less i'm thinking we want to go ahead and do something like this up here but more or less you really just got to kind of figure out what your priorities are you got to figure out how much you want to commit to it if this is something you want to really do later on or if it's just something you want to do for a while it's just kind of a fad to do something kind of interesting for a bit make things like here and there just kind of going forward with all of it so like for me on top of that though i make sure that every week i have at least one night where i don't have anything for youtube scheduled so i have a full break of where i can just kind of sit there do absolutely nothing and just kind of hang out and it really really helps kind of set the stage for getting into the next week and making sure i have motivation again where i kind of have that i'm, I'm not 100 percent living in this minecraft world i'm doing other things i'm playing other games sitting on the couch watching tv hanging with the puppy all that good stuff and it's just, it keeps things a lot more interesting. Oh, this is really dark in here now. But yeah, so kind of like I was saying there, the amount of time you put in determines the amount of time you get out or amount you get out of the channel. Like it might not be in direct subscribers right away because you're still growing and getting those views in the beginning really, really sucks. Like it's all about search engine stuff, which I don't even know how to get into. So I don't even want to try talking about that yet. Uh, I'm kind of just making it up as I go and hoping it works out. But next topic for time management, I would say is... If your editing software can do it, use presets or make your own presets. Like in Adobe Premiere, you can make a preset, which is the editing software I use. And for me, like I, before I was using Sony Vegas Pro and I would have to export my audio out to Audacity and then I would edit the audio in there and then I'd import it back into Sony and then I would use it from there going forwards. But the thing was that every single time I did that, I had to completely edit up the audio footage instead of just having like a ready to go audio preset like I have here in Premiere where I literally just drag and drop something over and my audio sounds great compared to what it normally does. <laughs> For those of you who have seen the streams, you probably know what I'm talking about there. It's not quite as not quite as full, but like you don't need to do those big crazy overhauls. You just got to make sure you like pronounce words correctly and people actually want to listen to you. So sound interesting in what you're doing and all that stuff. And that's kind of not really on the whole time management thing. But up here, we can go ahead and get back up to the top and right there. Yeah, we did it. Cool. And we're stuck in the block. But yeah, so we have all that 
And just remember that when you're recording episodes, not everything needs to be like totally jam packed full of content. And I do not have enough iron bars for this. But like you can have an episode if you need to just kind of get a filler in there. Never feel bad about doing something that's like a mining with your chat or mining and talking about things like uh, having a story time, telling a story, telling about something interesting that happened in your week or something like that. Something interesting you saw when you're walking around, walking to school or whatever it is. That's always something you can do, too. And you should never really feel bad about doing that if you need to. Like, it's totally OK to go ahead and just kind of take a break for an episode and just kind of walk around, walk around your world, go do some mining, gather some resources with everybody. But you have to have a purpose for doing that. You can't just walk around and be like, oh, hey, here's some more iron. Oh, hey, here's some more iron. Oh, cool. We got a lot of iron today. OK, yeah, that was a good episode. You got to actually have like something interesting to talk about, I would say. Like, just, so just make sure you have something there. And let's see. Can we get off up here? Yep. Cool. Yeah. So beyond that, though, like if you have a pretty tough school schedule or work schedule or whatever it is, like it's amazing how much time you can get work done if you wake up like 15 minutes early, go to bed 20 minutes later, something like that, just a little bit here and there. Like if you're getting you want to make sure you're getting at least your eight hours of sleep every night. But like for me, I get home from work at 730 in the morning and I could easily just go to bed. I just worked a 10 hour shift. I'm usually pretty exhausted and i'm like ready to get out of there and just crawl in bed and be done with it and sleep through the day and wake up that night and kind of rinse and repeat but i make sure that i stay up from then until about 11 a.m i stay up and get all my recording done on mondays and tuesdays just because that really helps me out more or less because that gets all the stuff done and then i'm a lot less stressed for the rest of the week and it's kind of relaxing for me making these videos because I really enjoy what I'm doing. So that really helps out as well with getting a lot of the content done and a lot of the content going and moving forwards. So that's always really helpful and everything. But yeah, so it's just kind of, there's a lot of different things you can do to really help yourself out. Just little things here and there. One thing I know is a lot of startup YouTubers, like a lot of small people who want to get going, but don't really know how, or they live with their family and they don't want to tell their family they're making a YouTube video. You can always go ahead and like, do time-lapse content like time-lapse content I find is great for doing with there's other people around and you just don't really want to bug them with hey I'm gonna record videos for a while or you have parents and you're like oh I don't want to tell my parents I'm making a YouTube channel because I don't know what they would think blah 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 like make sure you have their permission I'm not saying go and start a secret channel and don't tell people but like if you want to do it and you just like are like I'm doing it regardless of what they say then like yeah you can go ahead and just kind of get the stuff done we have craft table right there uh, but like go ahead and whatever time you're using like I'm assuming if they go to the store or something That's when you're like recording videos and whatnot all that good stuff And you can go ahead and use that time like record all your clips and then be like at the end of that be like All right, so now that we're got this much work on the project done I'm gonna go kick it into time-lapse mode You guys see me do that a lot be like and I'll see you guys on the other side And then like you don't have to record that time-lapse right away that literally just means that the next thing in your clip is a time-lapse and you don't need to be talking during that. You don't need to be really doing anything besides having that time lapse recording in the background. For me, replay mod is awesome because I literally just hit record on replay mod or record single player, whatever you want to call it, and then go from there and I just edit the footage up later. So it's super, super easy. You don't need that second Minecraft account. So I really recommend that. It's really easy to use. I have a tutorial on it if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. This roof is looking pretty awesome. And I think that's enough of me blabbing about time management stuff. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop them over in the Discord server. I'd be happy to help you out from there. And I just don't want this video to get too long. So I will see you guys all in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you loved it. And as, let me know some more comments or questions of the day that we can feature in the next video, vi few videos because I really want to keep that up and running there. So I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>